what's up guys welcome back to another video uh, it's been a minute today got a pretty dope video on the CRV scar -V. Um, as you remember a couple videos ago we did the uh, urethane uh, bushing inserts from uh, not innovative they were uh, energy suspension uh, bushings and I kept saying innovative. I don't know why I kept saying innovative. They make a, a bunch of them for uh, a lot of cars They make the, um, the Inserts for the sway bars everything. So that's where we got it from But remember how we were fixing the driver side engine mount. Sorry the passenger side engine mount because uh, I, I blew it well, we Fixed it put those two energy bushings and it was great Then I was working where there's some nice roads and CRV did a lot of nice turns on that thing so I blew the transmission mount and I blew the driver's side mount again now the driver's side mount I could get from innovative mounts the RSX one and it'll work perfectly fine but the transmission mount because it's automatic not so much so that's where it leads us to this video where we're going to Mercer's right now but first I gotta get a coffee and uh, we're gonna make a custom urethane mount, or should I say he already made it for me because we already got the parts. I'm gonna show you when I get to the shop and then we're gonna install it, take the car for a ride and see how it feels. Um, yeah, also I think this uh, I'm, this water pump I got from Rock Auto is on its way out. But that's another uh, topic for another thing because when we do the radiator stuff, uh, there's some you know nice upgrades for that too. But for now, let's go make all these engine mounts fixed because this thing sucks to drive on the highway uh it shakes it crazy so yeah all right guys just got the coffee now we're gonna be making our way nice suit we're gonna be making our way to mercer's and uh yes this is situated also guys uh a while back i uh emailed true heart because you know, how bad as you guys can see the bouncing how bad the rear suspension is. Oh my god, it's so bad. So what they did is they sent me two new struts and two revised springs with a better spring rate. So we're definitely gonna be taking that out. We gotta take out the old shock, use uh, the top hat of it and the bottom and all the other stuff that come with it. Um, with the new shock, it's just a little bit of shock. And, a spring. and then, yeah, pretty much assemble it, anti seize it, put it all back. And hopefully it'll make the ride a lot better because the rear is just horrendous, guys. And then uh, we're gonna pair that with polished True Heart uh, control arms in the rear. I know why am I going to control them? So uh, they're affordable. They have a solid pushing on it. So let's see. Uh, people run them and there's no issues. So let's hope at least that product is good. Uh, that's gonna be another video on its own. But, um, I'm gonna have my breakfast sandwich, drink my coffee, and I'll see you guys at Mercer's and show you what's popping. 15 minutes later. All right, guys, here at the shop. Mercer's just moving some cars around. Never get tired of seeing a Supra. Shop's packed, as you guys can tell. So. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun doing this mount. I'll show you as soon as uh, he's out of the car. And there's the man himself. It's What's been a hot up? minute since we did a nice vlog. It's been a hot minute. And this is what I'm assuming is our new custom automatic CRV. I gotta stop saying we gotta stop doing automatic modifications. We're becoming a trend on Good YouTube. Thing, uh, filled, yeah. So this is an OE replaceable mount for the CRV automatic 0206. Kevin went and grabbed a tube of urethane and he made it look like it's, you know, beautiful. Like it came out of a factory. This is like, a, like this is solid, dude. Like you can club somebody with this thing and then take their money. It's, um, it's like icing a cake. Pretty hard to work with this. Uh, I can imagine. 
But it was an idea that we uh, came up with and it's a great idea because this should definitely help. And then, like I said, I could always just buy the innovative RSX front uh, passenger side mount, which is uh, that little blob one with the three bolts because uh, it works. We lined it up with an RSX one before, but we just ended up going with an OEM. So that will be at a later date, but for now we're going to get this done. And then we got to come back another day and do the rear suspension because, like I said, it's bad and True Heart came clutch and honored uh, the warranty. All right, boys, this is our very used yeah. transmission mount from the CRV. Uh, probably been there since 2005, by the way, it looks. Yeah, and original. Yeah. Um, you can see these stress marks. This is from all the. The G's I was taking on those turns on the way to work the past two months. Look at this side. There's an actual crack. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm feeling the the play on the left side. Man, it's, uh, it's just like. Oh. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's not. She's a gaper. It's not supposed to do that. Guy. We have a squirter. That was not supposed to happen. I've never seen that happen. But uh, <laughs> we definitely have a squirter. Yep. Oh, she's, she's a leaker. She's, she's, yeah, she is. What is <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that. This thing has seen its better days. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely have some wear and tear. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, safe to say that this is going to solve... A lot of issues right now. Mm hmm. And our broken mounts. Yep. And Kevin's aluminum welder decided to crap out at the worst possible time. Yep. I'm sick of the welder, that. It's all good, baby, baby. Looks like we're uh, only going to have two bolts holding it instead of three. It's okay, man. There's a lot of cars that are put together with less bolts than they, they came with. That is true. Let's clean these. So guys, also, uh, when you guys are doing this, as you guys can see, Kevin's got the jack under the transmission to secure it. Um, when you're doing that under the engine, always safe to put a piece of two by four so you don't kink the pan and stuff like that. Yeah. So we'll show you guys that when we tackle the other side. But yeah, we are going to be cleaning this up. A bit, man, a bit of a mess. God, that, that water that came out of that mount stinks. Yep. Man, some stagnant fluid. All right, guys. So that's our new custom OEM urethane mount. Kev's just cleaning up the bolts on the wire brush. See, that's the bracket that split the fucking aluminum. Guess, you know, just gets weak over time. But what we're going to do is... What we're gonna do is still put the bolt there because it'll still put some pressure on it. But yeah, look at that. It looks proper. This is how you guys make your own budget solid mounts. Urethane bushing, uh, energy suspension bushings, and then a urethane transmission. This is what people used to do back in the day before they even uh, had companies like Hasport or Innovative make mounts. And I've seen guys use hockey pucks. My brother had it in his 97 Integra GSR when he supercharged it. You wanna talk about vibrations? Jesus Christ, man. Like, yo, Kev, you know a thing or two about that. I know you, though. Jeez, man. Yeah, man. It was. You can hear your own mantis slap each other. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much vibrations there were. But yeah, that's, a, that's looking good. And if you guys can see over here, all that your deep, wetness. Your teeth yeah. would chatter at idle. <laughs> yes, it's so true. Dude, I used to see my, like, remember my mom always giving him shit every time uh, like I would go with him pick her up from work. Yeah. And she's like, in, in Portuguese, like, why, why does this car do this thing? Why? This is not comfortable. Why did you do this to the car? Why you not leave the car alone? <laughs> it's the best. Your brother was a teen. Or a young adult. Yeah. Now he's an old fart. And then he spread that poison to me about cars, and now look where we are. And there you have it, guys. 
First mounts all in. First mount. Yep. Now we just gotta put the battery and take it all back in on this side, and then we'll just tackle this side. And we'll show you exactly where to position the jack under the engine to support it so you don't damage oil po uh, oil pan. Because uh, I have seen guys damage the oil pan and then, which affects the oil pump, and then kaboom. Because if you screw up the pickup, you, you're picking up some big problems. So, getting down low, see how Kevin's got the 2x4 right there? And you guys can see where he's got it positioned perfectly so that way you don't damage the engine, nothing. Well, go on this side, on this side you'll be able to see it clear. Yeah, let me get on this side. Because you'll see the cutout for the... There we go. You guys can see it's how it has a perfect seating position there. Okay, so don't, don't keep that, don't push that in. That's where the pickup sits. Yeah. That's where your pickup sits. You keep it nice and slug so that way when Kevin takes these bolts apart, the motor doesn't drop. It stays at its position and you can work comfortably. And that's it. Another tech tip from the guru. Yo, look at this beard. Bro. Yeah, don't break the uh, oil pump. Um, I've actually seen oil pumps being pushed in and they'll, they'll break the... They'll break the pickup pump the aluminum cast mm -hmm. of the pickup pump or they'll starve the pickup pump or oil pump because the uh, mesh part or funnel part whatever you want to call it that picks up the oil has been pushed in because the oil pan has been crushed and you'll starve the motor from oil or limit the supply of oil into the motor and then you are in a world of hurt. Oh yeah. So, yeah, don't, when you're gonna go and position your uh, jack, don't position it where the cutout or indent for the oil pump pickup, move it over to like the flattest part and use a piece of wood to um, disperse the load and don't jack the, uh, motor literally I just have it underneath um, as a support and just one like little uh, pump depending on what type of jack you have you might need more than one pump uh, but just have it as a support that's it yeah some um, guys have a smaller jack so they got to pump quite a bit yeah yeah that's, that's pretty awesome they do <laughs> that is awesome so more pumps no pumps Whatever it is, thanks. Just don't kink the damn fucking oil pan. Yeah. That's right. The beard. You know you remind me of with the beard in that uh, Mercer built shop uh, shirt? Remember the build off that Gears and Gasoline guys had with the Volkswagen guys? One was uh, a Nitrous Jetta and then they bought a uh, Gears and Gasoline, bought the EF. They went head to head in a series of drag races. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then the nitrous jetta blew up, and then they had another car. And then they did an American Muscle one. Okay. Yeah, the guy with the beard. He builds dope ass cars. I forgot his name. Red? No, not red. Hold on, let me Google him. It's the humble mechanic, and I found it. Look. That's Kev. Just Kev's thicker. With a lot more muscle, but look, it's the same guy. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Humble mechanic. It's your doppelganger. Or I'm his doppelganger because yeah. he's probably older than me. Probably, but right, it's cool. One year of growing a beard looks like. Actually, one year and one month right now. Dude, I try to grow my beard. It, I got to a nice length, but then like you know the leaves lost. So, I, as I do every year when they lose. The beard and, goes away. And I forgot to mention, I lost some length to my beard. On one side. Because I burnt it. Yeah, I could see <laughs> this because it's... <laughs> I burnt it. Yeah, look look was, at this thing. Look. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> How did you burn it? A long story, man. It, it involves barbecue, doesn't it? No, I was here at the shop. I was uh, doing some... I was doing a brake job. And... Uh, <laughs> 
brake cleaner and I was cleaning the parts and then one of the bolts was really, really seized on so I grabbed our torch and I started heating up the bolt and the little smidge, the little <laughs> smidge of rust flaked off and it was like a perfect red amber just when I asked. And I'm like, I turned it off. Right when I turned it off, it was still red hot with the bolt. The rust just popped off and bro, landed right inside the garbage. And I was using the garbage to collect the brake cleaner that I was doing. And I was like this, and I just saw it on my ass, no. And as soon as it went into the garbage, I went, <laughs> Did you mention it? I pulled it? back, and when I pulled back, that's where it singed to my video. <laughs> but it's the no! funny thing, dude, now that you mentioned it, I can't unsee it, because look, <laughs> you can see it on your right side of the beard is nice and lengthy. And then oh. you got like this whole chunk just missing on the left. <laughs> I burnt so much. Oh, man. How much I've lost? I don't know. I, I I'll have to weigh myself. I, I'd say like a good inch right there, man. Yeah, but I didn't. Dude. I didn't burn anything else. No eyebrows, no nothing. Just literally because I was fucking quick enough to pull back and I singed a good, I want to say like half inch to maybe even an inch. Now, the, the uh, question I know everyone's going to be asking. Side, yeah, left side because it was like this and I went, whoa, and fucking. Why didn't you just make it equal? I'm going to shave my beard. I wanted to grow for a year and I just grew it, so I'm going to shave it. Probably the next couple of days. So maybe the next time you guys see me, I won't have a giant beard. If he does what I think he's gonna do, he's probably gonna have a handlebar must uh, go to the mustache again. No, that was last year, man. Every year we do something different. <laughs> me and the boys, the race team. So I don't know what we're gonna do this year. But it's, it's been yeah a year and a month. My girl likes it, so. Well, but it is. You got the berry vibe going on now. Yeah, <laughs> berry vibe. That's our OEM mount that we just replaced. That went goodbye. You see everything leaked out out of it. I've already replaced that one. Not gonna bother showing. It's just an OEM mount, but you guys already see the top. The topic of the video was the transmission mount, which is amazing. All right, boys. So I'm gonna go grab a coffee and take the CRV for the drive. I can already tell you that feels better you hear the spring bind from the true hearts in the front I've just come to deal with it and it doesn't bother me to be honest with you I'm just so used to it now but I can tell you right now it feels so much better acceleration down. Whatever bumps you don't feel the the play anymore, so that that's it's good. Not a lot of vibration. I thought it was gonna be a lot of vibration, but nope, it's actually Really good, like the dampening it really well. Camera for you. 
budget job. Can't thank Mercer enough, as always. The guy kills it. And it's always a good time and a good laps. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. And uh, Mercer had to step by to take care of some things. So I'll be closing it off myself. Big shout out to Mercer once again for helping us out and uh, getting this done. Uh, yeah, so next we uh, just keep jotting those things off the list that need to be done on all the builds. Um, get closer and closer to the Spoonius one going boost and keep modding the CRV because this has become like such an awesome daily and I love it. And the community of the second gen CRV is just fire. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Help the channel out. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.